Singapore has a population over the age of 65 that will triple in the next 15 years. This has a huge implication on important topics such as healthcare. There's going to be a big lack of labour, especially when we talk about ageing in place. We are talking about dementia, we are talking about peer management for the elderly. These are certain things that for humans-wise is taking a lot of their time, a lot of efforts and a lot of errors. There's many different components that form an innovative ecosystem. We think that Singapore has a unique opportunity to be into areas that will be important to all of us in the future, such as helping care for an aging population. We are trying to understand what's the typical day like for elderly in Singapore. So we're just walking around in a, a wet market. For us, it's very important to hear what the potential customer says, and even more so to observe what type of environment and context they live in. We were introduced to Dinebot initially when they were coming into Singapore to look at establishing a research presence here. And out of that relationship evolved this interest in using the robotics platform in the uh, MIT Hacking Medicine event. MIT Hacking Medicine looks to solve some of the major issues concerning healthcare. In Singapore culture, elderly are actually residing and retiring back into homes. 80% of the population is living in housing estates such as this. So robotics is much needed because in a simple building like this, you can have hundreds of units where robotics can play a part to complement shortage of labour. We're very interested in the Segway robot project because it represents a very robust platform. The hope is clearly that the the robot can, can in some degree provide a, a level of companionship for an elderly person, but at the same time be able to assess their, their health conditions by, by observing them. Everyone get around here? Yeah, everyone get around here. It's, it's good to have a community of developers here at the opening of the uh, Segway Robot Alpha Unit. So we're excited to moving this into the MIT Hacking uh, Medicine event in February. So, so this is a... Segway Robot Alpha Developer Edition. Wow. Yes. Right, let's put this aside. Okay. Here, yeah. I like the fact that our developers seem seem engaged. The robot is is um, a very friendly looking robot, which I think is important, and I think that's something that can be useful when it's interacting. In, in a healthcare environment with the elderly. It looks very nice, it's very small, and it's very high-tech, I would say. It, it looks like something that I would want to play with, I would want to tinker with, basically. I didn't know there will be like so many developers from the Smart Center that will be there. Looks like they enjoy the playing with the SDK. I think we have two goals. One is first, through the hackathon, to identify maybe a handful of projects that can get follow-on funding that can actually be put on the market. And the other thing is to convene this community of developers and stakeholders so that they can continue to develop stuff beyond the, the hackathon itself. Our aspiration is to do something more bold and more ambitious and explore new and important ways of providing health care for an aging population. Together with the various government agencies, we are trying to see what we can do in a six-month program in order to find from a hackathon of ideas, be able to create a real-life examples that the stakeholders can see how we implement robots into the society. We think robotics and automation will play a very critical role in that new healthcare landscape, and therefore we think Singapore can play an important role in shaping healthcare around the world. I think for robotics to really uh, advance, uh, there has to be a common platform that developers can, can convene and work around. And I think the, the Segway Robotics platform provides that very nicely.